Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to another exciting horror classic. It's The Stand by Stephen King. The book has been on the market for a while, of course, but it has recently come back into focus with a series on Amazon. Rightly so, by the way. But even if Whoopi Goldberg is a brilliant actress and her interpretation of Mother Abigail is just great, the book is, of course, still better than any movie or series. But maybe I should start with what the book is all about for those who don't know it, even if it only can be a few. First came the days of the plague. When a man crashes his car into a petrol station, he brings with him the foul corpses of his wife and daughter. He dies and it doesn't take long for the plague which killed him to spread across America and the world. And then came the dreams. Dark dreams that warned of the coming of the dark men. The apostate of death, his worn down boot heels tramping the night roads. The warlord of the charnel house and prince of evil. His time is at hand. His empire grows in the west and the apocalypse looms. As you can already hear, it's a very dark story. A small group of people who simply want to survive in a civilized way gathers around Mother Abigail in one part of the USA and another, much larger group gathers around the Darkman in Las Vegas. So, the classic division of good and bad, you could say, or good and evil. Except that evil is gathering the masses. And what happens there is, uh, yeah, really not nice. So, how can a small group of outsiders survive them? Well, you can find out if that works in this book. Stephen King is, of course, the godfather of horror, and you've definitely seen a film based on, on one of his books. I'm quite sure of that one. But there's really nothing like the books themselves. If you haven't read any of his books, it's, it's really about time. Stephen King, born in Portland in Maine in 1947, is one of the most successful American writers. To date, his books have sold over 400 million copies worldwide in more than 50 languages. He has received numerous prizes for his work, including the 2003 Special Prize from the National Book Foundation for his life's work, and in 2015 the Edgar Allan Poe Award, the most important criminal literary award for Mr. Mercedes. In 2015, President Barack Obama also honored him with the National Medal of Arts. In 2018, he received the Pan America Literary Service Award for his work to rebel against any kind of oppression and to defend the high values of humanity. And if you now want to get to know another exciting book, you can find my next video right here on the end screen. I'll see you there then. Bis gleich.